No cap. No cap, man. No cap. That's a fact. They, they do it to me all the time. They waiting to hear a song or something. They can't that, wait that, until they can catch a pastor doing something. Catch you slipping up. You know what I'm saying? Catch me, catch me on the line, right? Flirting with a female or something. <laughs> yeah. Ain't you supposed to be married? Look nope. at you. Huh? That, that's true. I gotta be careful. Like I call women, I'm I call women dear. I use words like hey dear or hey sis or hey sweetie. My wife understands my that's the person I am because I got one sister. Mm. Okay? And my dad taught us to show her extreme love. And we protected our sister. And we love our sister. We didn't have multiple sisters. We had one sister. So yes, every woman that I was raised around, I caught I held them in the highest esteem. Hey queen, hey beautiful. I, I always tell them they're beautiful and stuff like that. My wife knew that when she first met me, that I was a person like that. And she, we had those discussions so she could understand where it comes from. She wasn't trying to change me, like, don't be doing that around me, da, 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 like some women would. She understood. It's like, no, as long as you, you know, I got to trust you as far as I could throw you. You know, that's the reality is you got to give a person trust first before you distrust them. You got to give them that until they're otherwise notified. Words are just words. And like I just was saying, words frame your environment. I want my environment to be pleasant, loving. So, yes, I use loving words when I address women. And when I see the guys, I say, hey, bro. I don't be like, hey, N-word, this, that, and the third. <laughs> No, I address them with respect and decency because I want my environment to be that and I want theirs to be it too. If you got a, a, an environment of negativity nine times out of ten, you're going to get a lot of negativity because you're, you, you're putting it out there and there's demons latching on to it. Oh, yeah, we, we got a good word. We got a negative word here. Let's build it up and make it into something. Take something this small and make it into something this big, because their job is to magnify ignorance. That's the dark. That's demons' job. Magnify it. It may be the smallest thing. They'll turn turn it into something and magnify it. Now people are arguing right in the comments. Well, pull up, pull up then. You're like, what? This ain't even about that. But you let someone bring in a seed about it. Man, you're on a roll. You said, I want to do a Bible study now. No, no, no. I, I didn't come on for that, but this is where, where it came to and where we're at now, and I get that. Um, but like when I set up my lives for this, I'm gonna have my books out, I'm gonna have my studies ready, and we're gonna be able to walk through it carefully. Right now, I, we just talking, we're just talking, right? And I'm trying to communicate in a way to make it simple and plain in the meantime. But now I'm really not trying to do a Bible study right now, but I respect that and I will never leave nobody hanging if they got questions, right? Be because questions deserve a response. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to what I do, this is what I do. This is what KV does. He's trying to help, help people to get into this, the uh, trans transformation of what the Bible can do in your life. And what it did for him and what God's spirit can do for you. He wants people to have that. And that's Even why this smile right now, just being able to go like this all day, man, right. that ain't something. That yeah, you I'm going to go, do. I'm going to get on the screen, uh, uh, one of these nights with you without the, without the cover photo. I just, right now I got, I got things around me no, going you are on good. and I just don't want to open it up because I'm a very private person because, because of my position, you know what I'm saying? And I just can't have everybody. Cause you let me say this: you talk about spiritual warfare. Listen, when people are looking at your face on the screen, you got witches and warlocks out there. Bring that it on! Cast spells against you. Bring it on! Just by looking at your face. <laughs> so yes, you have to be covered in prayer. You have to be protected, and you are because I'm around you too. And and trust me. I know spiritual warfare. I deal with it. I deals with it. And that's why you've had my engagement just about every day since we met. 
That's there has no not cap. been a whole day go by without me engaging you. That's real yeah. consistency. Okay? That's real consistency because I'm a man of God and man of my word. And when God assigns me to something and I say, yes, Lord, I'm with, with you now until death do we part. You understand that? And not only you, KV, but everyone connected to you going to get it. You understand? So, yes, I'm careful about putting my picture or my video, live video, because I know there's demons wait, waiting mm. to come and attack me. I'm up for the attack, like you said, bring it on, right? But there's some parts of that you have to be extra careful because spiritual means a spiritual matter. That means we, we're only built physically. Yes. We're not able to fight with spiritual demons except by the power of Christ and the power of God. They mm. fight that, not us, because we'll lose every time. You'll wake up with a massive migraine and end up with an aneurysm if you're not careful. Okay? That, that, that's how strong the warfare can be. Mm. You'll, wake, you'll be feeling good one day, and you'll wake up the next day, and, you, 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 and the doctors will be telling you, bro, this is something serious. We got to get you in an emergency right now. Something that the doctors can't even can explain. You're like, I don't know what's going on with you, with this guy, but we got to open him up and all this craziness. I know people who are perfectly healthy, and then the next day they got staples down down the middle of their body, all in one night. So, got to be careful with that. You know what I mean? But knowing that you're doing what you're doing, you're always covered. You're in my prayers. Your name comes up. You're covered. God is going to continue to keep a GPS on you because of not not only me. I'm sure there's other people praying for you, too. But from, from my side, I make the declaration publicly that he's covered by me. I'm here and them demons know it. And they know you're covered by the blood of Christ and prayer and angels encamped all around your room of your house. And everything. So no no doubt about that. I'm not here to transform your life into a prayer closet because I had the capacity to do it. Every day I every time every time I ask to come on to your life, you bring me in. You bring me in. I could easily turn it into a prayer. You'd be like, bro, let me pray for you real quick, and then I gotta go. And you'll be like, come on. You pause the music and everything for some prayer. Who wouldn't? Yeah, I would any time. Right. So I That's more valuable than anything. I could easily turn it into a prayer closet on your show. Up here come Pastor L, y'all. He about to pray. Anybody need prayer requests? And the line be the list be list long. You know what I'm saying? So tonight I am going to pray before we get off this phone, okay? Before I get off your live, I am going to pray for you, okay? But it's not to be seen by people. It's not to be heard by people, but it's just a general praying moment because we know people need prayer. Okay? So, Father, we come to you right now. God, we ask that you would just first cleanse us of our iniquity, God, and purge us with his side. Father, make us whiter than snow. God, we don't take this moment lightly, oh God, that you chose to come and sit with your people for such a time as this. Just for this moment right now, oh God. We thank you that you're touching everybody from the crown of their head to the soles of their pretty little toes, God. God, we ask that you continue to show your mercy on all of us, oh God. Continue to give us things that we don't even deserve sometimes, oh God. Things that we have not work towards, oh God. Father, we ask that you would just wave your hand over this situation, over the live right now, God. And God, let your spirit sit on us tonight, God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we love you and we adore you, oh God. Continue to just show us the light, oh God. Show us the areas in our life that we need some assistance with, oh God. Hallelujah. You said there's no weapon that is formed against your people that shall prosper 
power and any tongue that rises up against us, we will condemn it in the name of Jesus, Father God. You are great God. You are a mighty God. There is no God beside you, oh God. There is no reason for us to turn away from your goodness and your mercy, oh God. You've been better to us than we can be to ourselves, Father. In the name of Jesus, God, touch every cabinet in the kitchen, oh God. Let the food pour in, oh God. Open up the refrigerators of our lives, oh God, and pour food into our cabinets in the refrigerator, oh God. God, just have your way today and tonight, oh God. God, let someone understand that there is a real God, oh God, that you come in to be with your people, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God, we plead the blood over every bit of darkness trying to come in and curse your people, oh God. We cancel all assignments against your people. Curse it from the root, oh God. Don't let the enemy get a foot in any situation, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, bring relationships back together again. Uh, oh God, we need your presence to come in and put things back in order with your glue, oh God. Your spirit is the spirit that can fix things. Fix it, Jesus, fix it. Uh, oh God, somebody's crying out to you right now in secret, oh God. They, they tried to keep it to themselves, oh God. Uh, oh God, but they need to expose it and put it out there right now, oh God, because they need a right now move from you, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Father, you know I won't be long-winded when I'm praying, oh God. I don't want to be rambling on and on, oh God. I just want you to do what you said uh, uh, you were going to do, oh God. You said you would never leave us nor forsake us, oh God. You said you would be with us through it all, oh God. And Father, we believe by faith that it is so according to your will and your word, oh God. Continue to be nice with your people, oh God, and generous, oh God. When you see they have a need, oh God. You said, he that hath begun a good work in us shall perform it until the day of Christ, oh God. Let your word be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. And it's in the matchless and marvelous name of Jesus that I pray. Amen. 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 Amen.